wanted to do a video and um, I wanted to do this video for a couple of reasons. A lot of people um, don't know. Oh, if you are new, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you're not, make sure you also turn on your post notifications and comment down when you're done. So I promised you guys uh, a video about Lily's disability um, and how I found out about her disability. Um, I found out about her disability when she turned 16 months. When she turned 16 months, um, because her doctor scheduled an appointment for her um, without me even knowing um, when I had went. And she also asked me, did they call you? It's a program. Um, it's called Early Intervention. And um, they give you a lot of specialists, especially therapists, that helps you with um, learning how to develop yourself as a parent and learning how to develop your child. Um, so we're going through that right now. We're taking the, the therapy, especially for her speech, since she can't talk at the moment. She's only babbling. and She's been babbling since she turned one. One, yeah one and then she wasn't even talking um around like uh what you call it 10 months so she wasn't like really like comprehending like when i say um oh lily don't touch that like she'll keep touching it or she don't copycat like um i say well lily say hi and she don't do copycat she don't do that neither um so yeah but we're working on it um she has a very short attention span. She likes to run. She likes to play. Um, but yeah, that's how I really found out about her disability when she was 16 months. And um, it was at a doctor's appointment that we had for her. Um, and so that came about where she was concerned about Lily not doing things as a one-year-old should. Like jumping, climbing. Like Lily don't jump. She do climb, but she don't jump. And um, she don't hold like a ball like in her hand. Like actually like she just throws it when she picks it up. So, um, but yeah, those minor things. But um, I think the therapy is good for her. I'm taking the therapy and hopefully this therapy is good for her where she can develop uh, a good safe and steady um, talking and motion um i cannot wait until um she get through with the program because it's already hectic um it's already a lot for me um i know that a lot of um people said that you know maybe she has autism or you know and stuff like that but because sometimes she don't want to get her hair done. She cries when I do her hair. I know that's a sign of autism. Um, but I, I really don't know the sign, so I'm not going to diagnose her. I'm not going to do none of that. Um, but all I know is that she has a mild delay. And um, that's what the paper said. And she, I, I remember crying about it the other day. She scored very low in controlling emotions. Like, um, that made me cry because... Lily don't know how to control what she's feeling like um she's not in control of how she feel like when she gets angry she gets really angry and then when she gets sad she gets really sad like she don't know how to control like herself when she does that but we're working towards that and it's it's been um going good thus far so I know sometimes she still bumps her head you know that's normal for a one year old and yeah but um so yeah she um we're, we're we're building up to you know her attention spans and we're building up to her learning how to cope with herself and learning and she and she still has to learn how to you know she's friendly around kids so i don't think she has a very big problem with that i just think that um you know, I always had this fear that um, 
they will call my daughter, you know, she's slow, she has a disability because, you know, she's not normal. She's, you know, a baby with a lot of imagination and she, you know, she might do things differently than others. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the only like standpoint I have on it. Um, but yeah, I made, I made it my business. I made it necessary to, um, give her this therapy and it and they you know they said they had a hundred kids and it works it works with millions of kids across the world that struggle with speech that struggled with emotions you know having to deal with themselves so um i'm hoping that this therapy goes well for liliana and um i'm also hoping that um she can be able to talk um, that's one of my biggest concerns because she can't even talk and say, well, mommy, I'm hungry or, um, mommy, I want more. You know how they say more, more, um, we're working on sign language as well. Um, and then we do hungry. Um, so we're, I'm working towards that. So, you know, she won't always, uh, so she can get out of that. Um, uh, mommy knows that I'm hungry. Um, so I'm working, I'm working towards it, having a bit struggle with it, but it's a bit struggle. It's a bit, you know, it's a, it's a task. I'm trying to get through it, you know? So once, or I'll get back to you guys with an update. Once she take these classes, she go through the trials and, um, she progress. So I'll give you guys an update on that so don't worry like i'm gonna give you an update on everything that lily does i don't know when this video is gonna come out um so just wait for it um my life has been pretty hectic right now so um just bear bear with it bear with me um and yeah i'll um i'll get back to you guys with updates um comment down below what would you like to know comment down below because i can i'm always in my comments i'm always active i'm always on social media so comment what you would like to know and um, i'll answer any of you guys' questions um so yeah so i hope this um video finds people will finds parents that are dealing with kids that have disabilities um you're not alone like um it's very hard since Lily, since I know Lily has a disability, it's very hard to um, continue and keep going because with a disability child, they need um, a lot of attention and um, it's very hard. So just know that you're not alone and that you are, um, and that you are, you know, well one thing i would say is don't be like me seek help like i i i didn't know that lily had it so young she had it when she was six months so lily already had her disability i guess they couldn't detect that but don't be like me like seek help for your disability child whether it's mild whether it's adhd whether it's this and that like go through the trials go through everything that is necessary especially for your baby since they are so young um they need that guidance i would say um go for it and um uh, it's been working for me so far you know i know that she has very short attention span and you know she don't want to sit in the camera all the time because they can only do virtual at the moment so uh, we're getting that worked up for it but um yeah don't be like me the help is out there go grab it um because it's very hard and i i understand that so um i hope you like this video make sure you like share and subscribe also turn your post notifications and comment down we are done um and i'll see you guys in the next video especially with an update um with how lily has been going and um yeah so i can't wait to go through these ther you know therapy i've been going for like three four weeks now so um yeah so stay tuned for what's to come see you guys in the next video peace peace peace